Uh, what? Lily, what are you doing? This is your daughter's birthday. That's the only way we lose here, is if for some reason she can't get the death flower to Grim. And this is Charity, and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get all the aspirations, milestones, skills, and other achievements like top level and in careers, and even degrees for a single sim. We're following Carla, and she's a child right now, but she should be a teenager soon. We just need to finish interacting with the monster. Well, we finally got another visit from the monster under the bed. So let's see if Carla can talk to it this time. And I think it's under the pink bed, but unfortunately you can't really see it. Carla just made friends with the monster under the bed. She can't wait to find out more about it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, since she made friends with it, um, I don't think it's there anymore. I don't see it. I'm going to have Lily go through the wormhole to six them and see if we can get Carla to follow her and actually get the milestone for that. And there she goes. Okay, I don't have the option to bring her here. All I have the option for is to switch control to Carla. Oh, well that's disappointing. I guess you have to have the wormhole generator from the scientist courier. Now, I haven't shown it yet, but I did build a barn or shelter for the horses. And here's a little trick. If you want to have an open door that you can ride the horses out of, just make a two section wall and attach in a little, a little uh, wall decoration here. And it looks like a doorknob but you can ride out of this because of the tall wall height. And if you put a regular door, it seems like it doesn't matter how big the door is, you could never go out of it. So I put some spandrels on one corner and the other corner has a spandrel as well, but I didn't put a column there because I cannot fit this feeder next to it if there's a column there without move objects. So you can put two columns and it makes it look a lot nicer, but I can't for my build. And I'll update this and put it on the gallery if anybody's interested in it. It is still a tiny micro home. Oh, and we're expecting a fall. Okay, so we have that going for us. And it took a while, but I had to retry mating because for some reason, Cleopatra was spooked and she was scared and she wouldn't mate and for whatever reason I could not get her to calm down and she's supposed to be the brave one and Midnight is supposed to be the one that is fearful so I don't get that. Now the other thing that we could do is reach the Mount Kumarabi summit but I'm pretty sure that kids can't do rock climbing so she would only be able to do it if Lily brought her there, and I really want don't want to do all that work with our, without Carla. That's just kind of weird. So the other thing that I'm hoping for is that if we get a foal, it will count as getting a horse. Um, I'm not sure if it does or not, but the other thing we can try is going to six them. Well, scratch that. You can't buy the wormhole generator, so I guess we'll just work on cross-stitching right now. If you can buy an item by unlocking it and better build by, you can place it in a house if there is no household assigned to it, and then you can use it. However, it looks like the wormhole generator has to be actually made by the scientist, so it's a debug item, and I'm not allowed to use cheats. Where are you going? No, you're not going to the toddler bed. Okay. She's going to the cross stitch on the toddler bed. And it's out here in the middle of the field because I had to have it out here in order for the toddler to get a nightmare. So I just kind of left it here. Okay, we have cross stitch level four. And once we get cross stitch level five, we don't need to do it anymore. All right, Carla's responsibility is pretty low because she actually had to skip a bunch of drama club 
meetings while she was on vacation. So the other ones are all pretty high. Uh, manners a little bit, conflict resolution a little bit, but emotional control and empathy are both max. And we've mastered the cross-stitching skill. Now, when you have a child that is a child, you can teach them to say sorry, and that helps with conflict resolution. You can't teach it to a teenager, though. And an easy way to raise your responsibility is by working on school projects. Okay, so you can talk to the monster under the bed or yell at it. Let's just try talking to it. Carla was unsuccessful in her attempt to communicate with the monster. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends right now. Okay, come on. I can try talking again immediately at least. Okay, she can't succeed for some reason. Am I going to have to yell at you, monster? Okay, that time she just got a little energized buff that says, Hello, my friend, which is what she got before. I was hoping that it gave you some kind of... Oh, okay, now it gives you some more stuff. Ask about living under the bed, call names, talk to monster, tell secret, and yell at. So you have to succeed at talking to it more than once. And it doesn't really give you anything. It's just kind of a little thing where you can pick, tell secret, and call names. Kind of like you can do with Uni. Uh, it's pretty much a stuffed animal under the bed now. It can fill your social need. It can give you fun. But... Come on, it should have told a little bit of a story or something. Okay, and Uni shows up on my friendship panel, but the monster does not. You can ask it to leave, I guess, but where's the fun in that? Okay, I guess we'll ask it to leave because there's really nothing else we can do here. But now, if your child is scared by the monster under the bed, they can get rid of it themselves, I guess. But she still can't sleep because she's too excited. What? What happened to all the food? Cleopatra is very hungry and if not fed soon, she will be taken away. Look at all of this food. It's all gone. I only have three horses. I guess one is pregnant. I had this thing full of hay. I had so many wild prairie grasses. Who is eating everything? And why are you starving if you're eating a lot? Okay, well, I guess we got to go feed the horses. Okay, go eat. Come on, go eat. Okay, all of her character values are in range. Now, it doesn't matter that they're in range, actually, because when she ages up to a teen, these still will be variable. So I have to kind of try to keep them in balance, which is hard because if she's living with an adult, what happens is she will ask for advice and she will get a positive on one of them and a negative on the other. And if they're all in range, then the positive doesn't help and the negative will make the other one go out of range. So that's a little bit annoying. Cleopatra is gone into labor. Okay, so we need to witness a birth of a bull. No, don't go dance. Stay out here. Oh, and she's having her foal. Okay, come on, Carla. Don't go anywhere, please. For anyone who has left names in the comments on my last video just know that i'm recording this one before that one goes live so i have not seen any names yet but please feel free to leave names on any of the videos and i can change them later so butterscotch um that would make sense if this ends up being a brown colored horse but i'm not sure if it will be or not and I forget what the last names are. Do I even have last names? Um, we'll just leave it blank for now. And I think she witnessed it. Oh, and he is a light brown horse. Okay, Butterscotch is fine if nobody else wants to name the horse. I will leave Butterscotch. And she's a filly. And we have Intelligent brave and free spirit and she's also playful so i like all of those traits those are good traits still no god a horse um okay so the adopted pet actually was when carla was a toddler so maybe she only gets credit for what the adult does when she's a toddler she did not witness the birth of a foal. Oh, come on. 
No, it's not there. I looked through everything. Okay. As far as I know, children cannot get the got a horse or witness the birth of a foal. She was right there and I saw her clap her hands. So unless it's delayed, she did not get either one of those milestones. And getting these horses, the only thing that we got out of doing that is having a little adventure when we went to Granite Falls, which is okay. But now we have a full household and we have five pets. And these horses really live a, a long time. Uh, the dog, Wolfie, um, he doesn't live very long, uh, which is unfortunate, but I'm not going to use age down treats or add him to the household as a ghost or even resurrect him because let's just face it, I can't have a household full of pets all the time. So it's okay for now. We'll leave all of the pets here at the ranch and they'll just be having fun in the background and we'll hire the ranch hand to take care of them and we might go riding once in a while. But to be honest, we're not focusing on the pets right now. We have to make Carla and Renee a teenager and then we have to work on the teenager aspirations because you can only do those while you're a teen. And we also need to cure them of being werewolves because I don't want to do the werewolf stuff yet. I want to do the teen aspirations first. So that's how we'll do that. And apparently we still have to go to drama club even when we take a day off of school as a vacation day. Great, so I'm going to have to wait until after drama club in order to have the birthday party. Okay, and we got no opportunity for advancement there, which doesn't surprise me because we have to be a teenager in order to get promoted. So we'll have a birthday party and we're going to actually age up both of them. Why don't I see Ghidri is an option on here? Oh, there he is. Colleen is still a child, but we'll go ahead and invite her because we've interacted with her before. Some of these people I don't even remember. And this is Carla's party outfit. She's a little princess. Okay, let's see if we can get everyone in the same general area. Oh, come on. What do you mean you can't go there? Oh, that's right. I did lock the door. I forgot about that. Okay, I think everyone is over here now. And we'll see if we can get a good screenshot of Carla blowing out the cake. But why does Claude look so angry? Um, I kind of changed my mind. It's kind of distracting with Kathy getting up and dad just sitting there on his phone. But I guess that's an okay screenshot. Happy birthday, Carla. You're going to be a teenager. Um, sort of. Where are you going? Blow out. Okay, she went to the other side to blow out the candles again. Okay, and not high maintenance. Um, overachiever. And we're going to pick a knowledge aspiration just so we can get the quick learner trait, but we're going to do the teen aspirations first. And how about Carla is now a teenager. And how fitting, she's dressed in a werewolf outfit. Okay, time to blow out the candles for Renee. If she can make it to the cake. Here she comes. How about Renee? And I guess we'll go ahead and make her an overachiever too. And everyone come get some cake and we'll have to do some makeovers. Uh, what? Lily, what are you doing? This is your daughter's birthday. Well, they're now teenagers. Lily, I swear. On your daughter's birthday. I do not like the playful trait. Um, yeah, she's very playful. She's very playful. And Carla's just very confident. Oh, well. The good thing is that actually the teenagers cannot die from these deaths. So, um, Grim, can you spare my mother on my birthday? We could give Grim a death flower, I guess. Yeah, because I don't like having ghosts with the laughter trait. Sure, we'll just give him a death flower. Not today. Please do not take my mother on my birthday. No, 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 no. Don't see what's happening. Just give him the death flower. That's the only way we lose here is if for some reason she can't get the death flower to Grim. Stop crying, everyone. I'm going to fix it. 
Oh man, he everybody's in the way. I cannot get the death flower to Grim. Come on, every okay, thank you, Grim. Go away from the crowd of people. No. Ugh. Well that's stupid. She's going to sleep. Come on, give him the death flower. Ugh. Really, Grim? I wanted to give you the death flower, and now it's too late. <sighs> oh well. Bye, Grim. Thanks a lot. Well, they are teenagers, so at least we didn't lose Carla. <laughs> All right, everybody go home. What an awesome birthday party. Now, I do still have some ambrosia. But Lily was the one with all the spells, so I cannot call her ghost. We'll just have to deal with these two as wolves for right now. Joy. All right, time to do some makeovers. Okay, so really quick so that I can show you the outfits in Kaz. Here's her every day. Here's her formal, athletic, sleep, party swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So I went with more of a teenage look. I think it's pretty cool, even though she's a little bit outlandish on the makeup, but she's blue. So she has to be outlandish for it to make sense. And then for Renee, I just went with a lot of styled outfits because I'm a little bit too lazy to style her, but I wanted her to at least have something that looked good. So this is her everyday, her formal, her athletic, her sleep, her party, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So Renee's outfits are a little boring, but hey, I can't be bothered to do everyone's makeover. <laughs> so I guess we should try to do our homework. Okay, so when Carla aged up, she became a runt right away and has four ability points. So we can immediately get the will to resist, which is nice. I should also get scavenger, uh, enhanced smell, and somber howl. Okay, that will take care of everything we need in order to get the diary. And then we're already a werewolf initiate. Well, halfway. We need to experience a full moon and read werewolf books. All right, so the full moon is nowhere near where we want to be. All right, so we changed it so that the full moon is on Thursday, but that's also career day. Um, I'm not sure if we have enough time to get the aspiration that requires career day. So we might as well experience the new moon on Thursday because we will be looking for the diary of Greg, but I have no idea when we're going to find that. And you can't learn the cure until you find that book. So for now, we're going to do our homework. Oh, and we have one that is do homework five times. So hopefully that one works. How sad. The friendship bracelet made by Lily Baron. Unlike true friendship, these threads can't stand the test of time and came apart. I don't know if it's because she died, because if I look in the household inventory, Lily's bracelet is there and it's intact. I wonder if extra credit counts as homework. Yeah, career day is Thursday and we only get credit for doing homework once a day. That is ridiculous. Okay, I guess we're not going to have to go to school today. For some reason, we didn't age up in time, I guess. Okay, now all we need to do is mess around in the cuddle carts. <laughs> all right, the only place you can join a T-Pose challenge is actually at school. Uh, maybe we could travel to the school and find someone in a T-Pose challenge. You have to be careful, though, because if you go to the school and you're not supposed to be there, you often get in trouble. And since one of my requirements says get in trouble, I'm going to be okay with that this time. I think she's the principal. Okay, I can plant stink capsules in the lockers. I don't see anybody doing T-pose challenges, though. That's not good. Okay, and she has a pristine reputation. That's another milestone. Are you going to catch me? I'm doing something I shouldn't. I'm also not in class. 
Uh-huh. Nobody cares. Oh, no, wait, I'm going to get in trouble. Although it may not count because I'm not technically at school. Okay, we got in trouble. All right, this sneak out to a party, this only happens if you get an invitation and you basically need to know all of the teens in your game. I would really like to join a T-Pose challenge, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. I almost forgot we have to learn the new lines for our drama club. We also need acting level three. Create cowboy costumes. Oh, we've had this one before. We're going to make the fantasy style costumes. We still did not get promoted. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go to the werewolf world and see if we can dig up Greg's diary. Some of us are going to hang out at the harbor tonight. You want in? Okay. Um, I don't think this counts as attending a party, though. Okay, I have to fire the ranch hand because unfortunately he's still here and it's because I left when he was supposed to leave. And we maxed mischief. That was important to do as a teen because that means that you get to keep the teenager interactions when you become an adult because you're a problem child. Okay, maybe we just follow Carla to school because I don't think we really need to take Renee. Is anyone? Oh, T-Pose challenge. Yes. All right, now we just have to make 10 teen friends. Why won't she talk to anyone? Oh, they're so busy looking at the T-Pose person. Stop looking. She's having a really hard time talking to people for some reason. She's dropping her introductions and not doing it. Well, we could talk to two people before class. Oh, it's a fire drill. I thought class was over already. Well, maybe we can socialize outside. Hey, this could be fun. Riverbeard wants to go to the prom with Carla as friends. Sure, I guess. I don't know why some people aren't counting as becoming friends with me, but I'm stuck at two. Oh, crap. I'm not part of my club anymore because it's only for kids. Oh, well, that sucks. And that's it for today. Time for drama club again. She didn't get promoted again. And for some reason, when she takes a vacation day, she seems to still go to drama club. And maybe it's the mod uh, that I have that lets them skip their activity when they take a vacation day from school. But for some reason, this she's not doing that. She's going to the activity no matter what. So I've decided to move to Moonwood Mill and I brought the rainbow house with us. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot that was big enough to fit the old complete lot. So I would have to basically destroy the bar and I didn't want to do that. So we've actually moved here and I rebuilt the little barn area and we just don't have any of the extras right now. Oh no, they're transforming. Both of them at the same time. And um, yeah, I kind of forgot to unlink the outfits for Carla. So I guess she's wearing whatever she would have been wearing had uh, she been human. Okay. Well, let's try to regain control because fortunately, Carla already had the ability to purchase that. And I'm not sure about Renee. Nope. Now, one of the reasons I moved to Moonwind Mill is that we could actually scavenge the ground and we wouldn't have to worry about coming here all the time. Um, I'm not sure what caused that. Maybe it's because she's afraid of the werewolf. Oh, whoops, that looks freaky. Okay, Carla did not get her control back. So we're just gonna scavenge for a little while. Oh, it's the full moon. That's why they can't regain control. I did not realize that. Oh, I found the diary of Greg. Awesome. Now it doesn't matter if I find things. I can just randomly scavenge. One good thing is it actually fills up your energy when you rampage. Okay, I did not end up at the top of the Moonwood Mill mountain. So... Interesting. Also, I don't recognize that outfit. Yeah, that's not one of her outfits. That must be her work outfit. Okay, she got credit for doing homework, but she didn't finish it. Let's see if I get another one. No, don't talk. You're not allowed to talk. Yes, she got credit for another homework. 
and I forgot to fill the dog bowl. I filled the hay box, but forgot about Wolfie. Sorry, Wolfie. Oh, we got credit for going through the full moon. That's good, because a lot of times you don't get credit. We're going to do the Cure Seeker Aspiration. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Carla did not get credit because she didn't have that aspiration active. Well, that's annoying. Her sister got credit. I guess we're going to have to do this one again sometime. Where are you going, Carla? I asked you to introduce yourself. Okay, that's interesting. We're having the problem where she can't introduce herself for some reason. Oh, it's because they're throwing a football. Could you guys stop throwing a football, please? Just for a little bit. And he doesn't like me for some reason. Maybe because he's tense? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is annoying, though, because it seems like when we become good friends right away, he doesn't count as making a team friend, which is ridiculous. Well, what if I be mean to you? What? Purchase animal. Um, yeah, I've seen this happening in other people's games. This is so weird. Why does this happen? Yeah, if I be mean, then unfortunately it takes away from my character values. I don't like that. Ah, this is so annoying. Why is this happening? Oh, and it's class type already. Whoops. No, eat your lunch. At least get one bite. Oh, and you're going to walk all the way to the opposite end of the school in order to sit down and eat it. Great, you're going to get in trouble. Why are you going into the principal's office to eat it? There's not even a table there. Come on, take a bite. We are so late for class. And she will not take a bite. And I'm going to get caught. Because here comes the principal. Okay, this is ridiculous. Stop that. Yeah. Go to class. <laughs> We're going to end up in detention now. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, come on. Get out of there. All right, stop it and go to class. All right, it looked like she actually pleaded her case and she won because the principal did not give me detention. Well, I guess Carla has a way with words. What if I do a rude introduction? Maybe I won't immediately become the person's friend. I mean, I kind of hate to do that, but I'm going to run out of teenagers eventually. Okay, now I'll start being nice and hopefully I can get her as a friend. Oh, it's career day, really? Yeah, I'm just going to do rude introductions from now on. Okay, we had an okay day at school. Okay, Carla has a crush on Marcus. Okay, Mark... Okay, I was about to say, Marcus is a friend, and we weren't getting credit at first, but we did get credit for him. Okay, we start Drama Club in 30 minutes, and we have not done our learning lines. Whoops. Maybe we can get it 50% done before we go. I don't know. Okay, we were able to do that. Now go to your trauma club. Please get promoted. Upstage the teacher. Okay, this is a new one. This is a bigger pop-up. The local news is here today to interview the teacher about their well-received drama club shows. The teacher wants Carla in the background doing silent acting exercises during the interview. Should Carla stay quiet in the background or become the star of the interview by singing this week's solo song? Okay, we'll sing the song, but this might be the one that gets you kicked out of drama club. I, I don't care. I'm not getting promoted. I'm just going to sing the song. And yeah, the look of shock on the teacher's face as Carla masterfully belts into song quickly goes off camera as the cameraman zooms in on your performance. The song is shown in full on the news that night and everyone in town is amazed. Unfortunately, the teacher is not amazed and kicks Carla out of the drama club for upstaging them. The pain of getting kicked out of the club is softened by Carla gaining a lot of fame, which she doesn't really gain hardly any fame. Yeah, I mean, you can't even see it move up, really. All right, well, we can join an after-school activity now. Let's see if we can actually get promoted to the top of the drama club this time. Oh, we're level four. Okay, so by dropping out and rejoining, 
we are level four. It's okay. I'm okay with it because to be honest, we did more than what we needed for that particular career. So I'm going to call that one done. Okay, which one should we do next? I'm going to do the computer team member next. Okay, and that counted as joining an after school activity because I didn't get credit for joining Drama Club again. Let's do our homework. Okay, that's four out of five times. I made one dish and went from cooking level one to cooking level seven. All right, we're not going to have any problems grinding skills here. All right, we should practice programming so that we get our computer team requirements met and also get to level two programming. And I guess I'm going to get a scheduled maid because it seems like the ranch hand is bugged. And at least maybe the maid will pick up the poop. I'm not sure. And Carla can now hack her school grades. Oh, who is this? Oh, I think it's Lily. We finally see Lily come. And she's breaking my shower. Now, the only reason why I really need Lily is because she has all the magical spells. She can do duplicato. So I'm not really ready to let Lily go yet. And we have a ghostly achievement again, for some reason. Welcome back, Lily. Now we'll just put your urn away so no one mourns it anymore. And I think I'm just going to keep her as a ghost for right now. She could probably de-deathify herself. No. Interesting. You cannot de-deathify yourself. Well, <laughs> she could eat the ambrosia but no we're just gonna keep her as a ghost because i have too much trouble keeping her alive okay i keep rereading this diary of greg i think eventually it's supposed to tell you how to make the cure but i have no idea how many times you have to read it because it keeps giving me more info and one thing i don't like about having an adult in the house is we're going to get the ask for advice all the time now Oh, she has the wolf be gone. Oh, no, it says it doesn't. She doesn't know how to make it. Okay, so it shows it to you even though you don't know how to make it. Keep reading the diary, I guess. Oh, Renee learned how to make the wolf be gone cure. Good. All right, that's all we wanted. Now we need 10 wolf spain and three moon petals. That should be pretty easy. Oh, when I was able to get werewolf diplomacy because I'm like max friends with mom and I discussed being a werewolf twice first, just to be sure. So this dormant ability will never be a problem again. The only thing is we did not get transformation mastery, but we still have to get the moon petals. And the moon petals are only available during a full moon. And you can't get them if you're a werewolf because you will transform and rampage. So maybe Lily can pick them. Okay, I'm going to try and make a club full of teens that I either don't know or I'm not really good friends with. Did it instantly make me friends with them? Hopefully not. Okay, no, we're just acquaintances. Good. And then we're going to start a social gathering because that will make them all come over here. I'm hoping I can do this fairly easily and not become good friends. I just want friends. Okay, that worked. Okay, now this is super easy. I just have to say hi to them once. Okay, now we're up to eight. All right, I just need one more. And we'll just remove everybody here and add some more. Although I have to go to school now, so maybe we'll wait until later. Oh, we're only acquaintances with Danielle. We can become friends with her. This purchase animal thing is so annoying. I hope they fix this soon. I'm not buying anything for you, principal. I don't know why it happens at the school all the time. Okay, now we just need to post on Social Bunny five times. Now, I've purposefully kept her off of Social Bunny for now because what happens is if you get 250 followers before you're at that point, in the aspiration, it sometimes bugs out and won't give it to you. Okay, hopefully no one will follow me because I have no friends here. Oh, Friday is exams and I'm not prepared at all. Well, that's okay. Where are you going? Come back here. 
I don't know why they suddenly get up from their desks and try to do something else during the exam, but it happens every single time. Just take your exam, Carla. A difficult problem. Multiple questions have come up on the exam about the class's assigned reading. The book centered around a narrative of Sims that could mysteriously live forever and never age. There are specific questions about the plot, characters, and ending. In essay format, write about the key themes and provide examples from the book that support those themes. Well, she's going to rely on her writing skill because she actually got some writing skill while writing in her journal. Carla did not have nearly the grasp of the subject she thought she did and gave a pretty shaky answer. Small skill-based exam boost. Oh well. <sighs> No, not the early graduation already. I guess I got an A. I didn't really mean to get an A. <laughs> Carla aced her exams. Good job. The only problem is that now I'm going to get a pop-up every day and sometimes multiple times a day. Do you want to graduate? No, I never want to graduate. I'm not going to graduate early because it's actually better to get valedictorian and you get a better boost for that. So pop-ups are pretty annoying and it's especially annoying since it interrupts my filming. Okay, we don't have anything for our activity today. We could try to post on Social Bunny again. Okay, I don't know what's up with the Social Bunny posts, but sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. All right, so now we're going to try and mess around in the cuddle carts and we brought someone with us. Although I don't want to get a faded mate. Um, I don't think he's a werewolf though, so maybe that won't matter. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't matter. And Carla's having her very first kiss. Okay, messing around in the cuddle carts is actually a woohoo interaction, so you have to get their romance up as much as possible first. Okay, now she can try messing around in the cuddle carts but hopefully this interaction isn't bugged because I've had trouble with it before. And I think it was because they were in a group. So it's like you had to have someone here, not in your group first and then mess around. Okay, no, it looks like it's working and it is. Okay, that is kind of awesome though. I like the animation for it. Across the way, there Carla sees Kale sitting there across the way. Neither has a lot to say, but the mood has sure got Carla's heart racing. This part of the ride makes the atmosphere even more romantic as the lovable Frank the Flying Womp Womp sits beside the cart and serenades the romantic riders with a familiar love song. Kale's toes start tapping and he begins to sway with the music. Frank's song rings through the couple's ears and encourages Carla to go on and kiss Kale. Well, you're woohooing, but there may be an even more alluring option. Carla could give in to the Womp Womp's encouragement and kiss Kale, or she could join in on the serenade. Does Carla sing her heart song along with Frank, or does Carla go for the classic kiss instead and make music of their own? I guess go for the kiss, whatever, it doesn't matter. Carla isn't sure that Kale feels the same way, but there is one very passionate way to find out. Carla takes the chance as the music crescendos and gives Kale the kiss of a lifetime. There have been many kisses on the cuddle cart, but this one could be rated as the most passionate out of them all. I hope so, because you were basically woohooing on that, okay? Where are you going, Kale? Let's become boyfriend and girlfriend so we can dump you. <laughs> that is kind of mean, but unfortunately that's part of the aspiration. Okay, and then we're going to put our homework in our inventory. Why did she start doing homework? Okay, and we need to be mean on Social Bunny five times. I think we're gonna wait to do that because I don't wanna do too many interactions on Social Bunny until later. So we'll just leave him as our boyfriend for now. All right, so where we are on the goal-oriented one is we need to reach level three of an after-school activity, earn and keep it an A, and attend career day. For the drama llama, we need to be mean on Social Bunny five times. For live fast, we need to sneak out to a party, which this is gonna take forever because you don't usually get invited to a college party. And for some reason it says sneak out to a college party or a hangout, but it seems that only the college parties count. 
The admired icon we posted four times, so maybe we can start posting on Social Bunny. We need to pick up five outfits at Trendy in order to post them right away, though. And I really don't care what they look like, but people are going to be wearing them, so maybe I should pick out something interesting. Okay, I'm going to pick out the special ones just so I can unlock them in Kaz. But here's look number one. And ridiculous look number two. And this one is actually quite colorful. Okay, and I know this one is horrible, but I just had to. And here's the last outfit. Okay, that didn't count as posting when I tagged him. Okay, I tagged him again, and it's not counting as posting on Social Bunny. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, it's a full moon tonight, so maybe I should change over to the werewolf aspiration. But I really want to get this Social Bunny thing done. Oh, it says to post now. And I can't post about anything, really. Now, I can post a book review, so maybe I should read a book, but I don't think I have enough time. Yeah, I'm going to transform. <laughs> oh, and I regained control during a full moon? Wow. Time to go get some moon petals. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, that didn't help it happen for Renee. Well, let's just lock Renee in here. All right, that got me three moon petals. Okay, hopefully this doesn't mess up my werewolf, but we can now post about a passion for excellence. Oh, good, and that counted. So now we need to list five outfits on Trendy and earn gold on a hosted party. All right, and for earning gold on a hosted party, that should be pretty simple. Uh, I think we can throw a quick dinner party before we get the werewolf one. We'll have to switch back to werewolf because I really don't care about that one, actually. And pretty much all you have to do is call guests to a meal, and it's pretty much over. Due to the fact that anytime I host a party... All I have to do is do the main goal, and I get gold. It's just ridiculous. Okay, party over. Okay, now I just need 250 followers. And I have zero followers, which is actually good. Okay, so I just added a whole bunch of people, which I think are teenagers, and we'll try that for a while. Now, I also don't know if maybe the issue with the trendy thing is that you don't have the focus on that particular aspiration at the time so i'm not sure if we're going to get be able to get that one as easily as i think we might just have to cheat it and i don't know if followers count on trendy or not so we're going to be mean to kale because we're actually going to break up with him anyway and that was pretty easy and now in order to get him to come out, I'm going to start a club gathering because nobody will come over in the middle of the night. Let's see if we can make peace with our old enemy, Eric. No, of course not. Wow, the tiny home really makes a difference. And we are no longer enemies. And now we're best friends. Unfortunately, we have to break up with Kale. So this is going to make him hate us. And we are no longer boyfriend and girlfriend. Sorry, Kale. Okay, the Akshara is the only other person in the computer team. Okay, so unfortunately, we have to be enemies with her. Okay, quit trying to be nice to me. Okay, finally we can fight. Okay, you're going to fight a werewolf. Oh, she has werebees. That's interesting. Okay, I have an enemy rival, right? It says join an after school activity and select declare enemy from the mean category towards a rival sim. This can be unlocked by performing mean socials to discuss relationship well I don't know if she's a rival but she is on the same team great I probably did that incorrectly okay we're going to search for information on vampires and the reason why we're going to do this is so we can buy the wolf's bane okay there we got the new plants 
All right, here we go. Carla is drinking her wolf be gone. And she is no longer a werewolf. She's just a regular sim. And now it's your turn, Renee. Bottoms up. And now we can move away from Moonwood Mill. Okay, so here we are back in Del Sol Valley. Now, it doesn't say that prom is today, but I think prom is supposed to be on a Saturday. Um, also, the Finchwick Fair Garden Fair is today. So I'm going to go to that and see if I can win a prize. But if it interrupts me and asks me to go to prom, I have to do that. Okay, I guess we're going to prom. Okay, so we are going to have the get together for prom in this house that I renovated for toddlers. Oh, yay. Hey, Carla, it's Kelsey. Do you want to hang out tonight um, at the nightclub? I, I kind of do, but no, because I'm going to prom. Sorry. Oh, the Finchwick Fair has started. Too bad I can't go. We'll do that later. We should try to complete the neighborhood brawl, even though it's probably going to damage my conflict resolution. No, Kale, we don't want to go out on a date. We dumped you. At least I kept winning. Is there a ghost in here somewhere? Oh, there is. That's right. Because of the silly thing. Uh, okay, you can't see the ghost. I don't know where it is. Okay, and we're going to prom. Okay, I'm going to have Renee vote for Carla. Why are you over there? Go over here and vote. Okay, it seems that if you have two teens at prom, they actually complete each other's goals. So you can have an easier prom if you take more teens. Well, we know at least one person is a wolf. And we'll try slow dancing with Zach. Oh, that's so cute. All right. That's enough. Oh, the award ceremony is starting. So I don't have enough time to... Do okay. That's all we need to do. We have gold. Okay, we should watch the award ceremony because we should get prom queen here. Or prom royalty, I should say. Oh, we got prom royalty and Rita got prom jester. Now next time we need to get prom jester. <laughs> There's no option to give a speech. Uh, there's our date. <laughs> well, our ex-boyfriend, I should say. He didn't actually have a prom invite for him. We had someone going with us as friends. And I forget who it was. We should get to know everyone else here who is a teen. Okay, we have so many friends. It's just ridiculous now. Let's see if we can get a, a photo. I don't think we can, though. I think we're too late. It's only two more minutes. Nope, we didn't get one. Or maybe we will. All right, we're going to the after party. Okay, we're going to post about prom. And that didn't get us any followers. I don't know, crown or no crown, prom is the best night ever. Um, We did get the crown. What are you talking about? Okay, here's one person that we don't know. Macy Barron. She's probably a sister. But anyway, this is the end of another week. And Carla is no longer a werewolf. So we can focus on just getting the teen aspiration and the teen jobs done. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.